Hello everybody, The Lawn Gnome is here. This is a story about what makes us different. So today I've got a real treat for you. I went to my local art theater today to see one of the new films that some people are talking about and not many even know exist. I saw the trailers for it because the poster looked very intriguing on IMDb, and that of course is the film Wonderstruck, which is based on the popular novel by Brian Selznick, who is also the screenplay writer for the film. And it stars some wonderful talent, well known, like Julianne Moore, Michelle Williams, and Gotham's Corey Michael Smith, as well as these two wonderful, talented young actors named Oak Fegley and Millicent Simmons. And this is the story of a boy named Ben growing up in Michigan in 1977. But there's also another interesting story that takes place in 1927 in Hoboken, New Jersey, with this little girl named Rose. Ben is trying to piece together a missing piece of his past, and that is trying to find out who his father is, particularly after the fact that his mother has unfortunately died. But then there is this girl, Rose, back in 1927, who is just trying to escape the clutches of her parents and just explore the wonder that is New York City, because it is her absolute passion. All of a sudden, one of the most interesting things that happens in this movie is the fact that we discover that through a horrible accident, Ben loses his hearing. Other people can hear him speak, but he can't hear anybody, and that Rose is in fact deaf. I have said this a couple of times in some of my episodes where I review film, and that is, why don't they make movies like this anymore? This is, without a doubt, one of the most beautiful films that I have seen this year. Not only is it beautifully done from a filmmaking standpoint, from a casting standpoint, from a beautiful scoring standpoint from the composer Carter Burwell, but this is just a movie that filled me with so many positive emotions. The way that these two characters are basically living their lives in complete silence. The fact that this movie is practically a silent movie. The fact that when we're switching between both time periods, it goes from color to black and white to fit in with the atmosphere and the time periods of each respective character's times. But the thing that drives this movie is the curiosity and the questions as to what is it about these two specific people that connects them. Throughout the film we see the story unfold and we see these two people find one of their callings, which happens to be the Museum of Natural History in New York City. Seeing them both explore in their own special ways, seeing them going into the same rooms in two different time periods, seeing them overcome their challenges, and when you finally find Find out what the thing is that connects these two children together, it just melts your heart and it will just make you feel something truly special and it will make you really happy knowing that you saw this very unique film. It is one of the most beautiful, most touching films that I have seen this entire year. I loved just looking and not having to listen. And the fact that I've actually seen a couple of silent films in the past couple of years has really made me embrace movies like this. And it sort of reminds me of those classic films of old. And I'm really glad that everyone that was involved in this project tried to bring a classic style of film storytelling back to the masses. I don't know what the outcome is going to be in terms of how this film will be received, especially considering the fact that it's in limited release now and it will go into wide release next week. I'm just so glad that one of my local theaters actually had it. But this is a movie that I think that everybody should see because it will just fill your heart and your soul with so much excitement and wonder. And it will definitely 
leave a very positive impact, and you will not forget this film. It is definitely one to remember. I don't know if I'm going to actually get this film on DVD, but I will definitely say that this is a movie that I would gladly see multiple times. I would share this with people, because when it comes to movies that stand out like this, I just cannot let a movie like this pass anybody by. Wonderstruck, if you could see it in theaters, please do. I'm going to give this film a very strong three and a half stars out of four. I really hope hope that this one will get recognized at the Oscars next year because I feel that this one does truly deserve some credit and deserves some notice. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Please put your comments in the box below and let's discuss Wonderstruck. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this matter and I will see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.